Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Christ Honoring Commentary series on the book of Genesis by James W. Knox, where I've been reading a daily devotional type of topic from this book, which is in a devotional type of form where we do uh, different uh, little outlines and topics from the book of Genesis. Brother James wrote this in this um, type of manner, and so this book is no longer in print, as I have said before in previous broadcasts. And this is the cover of the book, so you can probably try to locate this somewhere, maybe online or something, or maybe check the um, church website and uh, contact somebody to find out how to maybe get a transcript copy of this book or see when they're going to be releasing the newer um, copy of the Genesis book, which is going to be more of a, com um, a regular commentary type book with chapters and verses and breaking down the verses. So this might be included in there, these uh, topics, I'm not sure, but... Uh, that should be hopefully out here soon. So that's the cover of the book. And this is part of the Christ Honoring Commentary Series, Book of Genesis by James W. Knox. And you can find his books on the church website at www.jameswknox.org. So let's go ahead and get into today's topic for January 9th in this little topic titled The Order of Creation. And so Brother James writes here. Um, let me take my glasses off. It's easy to read. Not this on. So, the order of creation for this ninth day of January. And it says here, note carefully the order in which things were created according to Genesis 1. So, let's note these, uh, this order here. Number 1, heavens. 2, earth. 3, water. 4, light. 5, firmament. 6, grass. 7, herbs. 8, trees. 9, appearance of heavenly bodies, 10 fish, 11 moving things, 12 fowls, 13 creeping things, 14 cattle, and 15 man. So that's the order there. Again, number one is heavens, two is earth, three is water, four is light, five is firmament, six is grass, seven is herbs, eight is trees, nine is appearance of heavenly bodies, 10 is fish, 11 is moving things, 12 is fowls, 13 is creeping creeping things, 14 is cattle, and then 15 is man. And then he concludes down here at the bottom. He says, this is the exact order acknowledged by science. This could not be a guess. If there are five factors, you have 120 possible orders. With nine factors, you have one chance in 3,000. 62,800 of correctly an, uh, guessing the order. Not sure if I said that number right. Um, and then he concludes on, continues on, but with uh, 15 factors, at odds are 1 in uh, 1, 307, 674, 900. That's the number there he's got there, quite a number. Of guessing them in right order hmm. uh, so you've a new baby what is it guess a girl no sir guess again a boy now who told you <laughs> so interesting little topic there all right so that is the end of today's topic for the 9th of January and tomorrow uh, for the 10th we'll be covering Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 through 27 and it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. In Genesis 1, 26 and 27. So we're going to go over that topic in this little outline for tomorrow for the 10th so I hope you'll join me again for that and again I will show you the cover of the book here and this is the cover of it this is what it looked like so you know what it looked like here and uh, again you can contact the church uh, www.jameswknox.org to find out uh, more about maybe trying to find a copy of this book or um, they can direct you in the right direction for that or you can look it up yourself and uh, amen all right and that's that um, there and you can watch this uh, um, video on either the Facebook channel that I have or YouTube channel 
and that uh, YouTube channel is uh, Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, uh, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast, which is my other um, broadcast that I do, where I do daily um, Baptist Bread uh, reading and uh, another devotional book and some scripture song singing from Brother Dean and Sister Patty, and uh, then do some hymns. So check out that website on either the Facebook pay channel uh, page or uh, YouTube, however you watch uh, these uh, videos. So amen. All right, so that's it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.